Welcome to another edition of the Weekend Storage Warrior. So I'm sitting here looking at my storage area and the storage area is empty. These are empty. Some old canned food. Some books. Uh, those are for me. So where's the rest of it? There's all the stuff. A whole truckload of it. Hard to sell, passed over, junk that I want to make gone. Broken. It's a nice jacket. Do you want to be in the picture? Not really. <laughs> I usually... Well, this is the dregs of the dregs. I'm about five minutes away from this thing. Everything's a dollar. This stuff would all be a dollar anyways. The swap meet has got lots of sellers today. And not very many buyers. It's the opposite of what you would hope for. Okay. We are at 11 o'clock. Things are winding down, which is characteristic of this swap meet. And I'm going to start packing up to go. So today I sold $70 worth of stuff. It cost 30 to sell here, so I made 50 bucks. Get a money. Uh, I I had some more high value stuff that I should have brought to actually make this worth doing. But I'm sort of in trash disposal mode at this point. Uh, I didn't even really take the stuff out of the crates. So, nice mellow day. These DVDs, every time I come here I sell $10 worth of DVDs. So, they're not quite worth ready for the trash. But, a lot of this stuff Just about ready to go. Especially this larger, heavier stuff. Bye bye. Anyway, I guess fifty dollars is better than no dollars. And that will do it for today. 
and here we are back home the next day. So you might be wondering what is all this stuff? Also if you noticed I made an error on the math. I actually had only made forty dollars. At the very end somebody else bought a bunch of DVDs and I indeed ended up with a fifty dollar profit for the day. So uh, uh, I guess it's all free money at this point. But I can say well, this is the discarded detritus of stuff after you've been doing storage auctions forever. Beating wire, a mouse, swim goggles, scissors. Car stereo thing, a lemon zester, more beading wire, a surfboard fin, some sockets, some wire cutters, a drug test kit, a something. Rio AXS, whatever that is. Oh, it's a USB power supply. Another power supply. Another power supply. A little clamp. Another power supply. Another power supply. A battery to battery ashtray lighter connector. A spring. Scissors. Scissors. And an exacto knife. So it, that's one tiny little thing out of all these milk crates. And it just goes on and on and on. PS2 keyboard cable. Chinese knife, a plug, a lamp, a bunch of things, a sailor boy souvenir doll from the 1950s. <laughs> it's enough to drive you crazy. So it's not worth enough to put on eBay, but it's Still, on the other hand, you'd hate to throw it all away, so what are we going to do? Just shove it back in the garage, I guess. And there it is. All safe and sound, back in the garage. So I realize this hasn't been the most exciting video selling things for a dollar at the swap meet but these dollar items uh, they add up and you just sort of keep feeding the leftover stuff into these totes and that basically is what pays your overhead pays for the swap meet tickets pays for the gas and uh, it's especially good with these small items uh, because they don't take up much space. Every one of these t little milk crates here has 30, 40, 50, 60 items in it. And eventually somebody will come along that wants an X-Acto knife for a child's baseball mitt. And that's a dollar in your pocket. Um... These larger items, I tend to sort of toss them uh, if I can't sell them after several attempts. The knee brace, big old long knives, keyboards, crock pot, a faux leather camera bag. Um, Sometimes I actually regret throwing things away because I get kind of a 
bad mood and I just want to toss everything in the trash. Like that kitchen stuff, I actually gave it to my neighbor at the swap meet. So that didn't go in the trash. For if you're wondering about that. And she gave me these. Nice pair of Nikes. And they fit perfect. So there's a little fringe benefit. <coughs> a little fringe benefit. Anyhow, let's wrap this video up. Um, this merchandise that I'm selling actually came out of a storage auction that I went to way back in February. And it is now November. Uh, everything was closed for a couple months from the pandemic. So, I've been just selling the same stuff for months. And I ha still have more. Uh, what I tend to do is I'll get something that I think I can put on eBay. And I say, oh, I'll just stick it on the shelf here and put it on eBay someday. And then I never get around to doing it. So that's some cold weather pants, an ozone generator, a bunch of collectible keys. So there's still more merchandise to sell. And, you know, I can get maybe 40 for this on eBay, or I can take it and sell it to a picker for 20 which is probably more likely to happen. But at any rate, let's wrap this video up. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I like to add up the profit that I've made. Oh, here's a Wii system. Uh, this came out of those same storage auctions. Um, here's a Masonic letter opener. From 1937 so I've got to migrate all this stuff that's laying in here and sell it but for now um, this is where I'm at uh, this all came out of two storage units one was five dollars one was three hundred dollars uh, those videos are on YouTube. You can see them at what was behind the mattress and the $300 storage auction. I had uh, some dump fees, labor for a cost of $375. I went to the swap meet five times. Uh, had a couple $300 days, and then this last one, to getting down to the dregs, down to 50 bucks. So the motorcycle jacket and a motorcycle helmet and a keyboard, eBay, eBay, Craigslist for total sales of $12.91 minus the cost of $3.75 is a profit of $916 on a $305 investment. It actually was much better than I thought it would be. Uh, it was just good stuff. Designer clothes, nice electronics, and even the $5 unit kicked out a couple hundred bucks. Uh, that's about 64 hours of work for a total of $14.31 per hour. So, if I was a professional and I was doing this to make a living, if you can compress all this down into two weeks, you're making four fifty dollars a week. Anyhow, that'll do it for this video. Uh, if you'd like to learn how to make 450 a week, working your butt off, please buy a copy of my book, The Weekend Storage Warrior, available on Amazon.com. Until then, that'll do it for this video. I'm trying to get out at least one video a month anyways. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Baba!